Hi, this is Eileen, and I am constantly getting asked the question as to whether or not you can use the Small Business Theme Facebook app without having a web WordPress website built using the Small Business Theme. The answer is absolutely. I have done it a bunch of times, and I wanted to show you how today. To give you a quick review, the Small Business WordPress theme application allows you to build mini websites within Facebook. Now I built this for my cousin. This is her website which isn't a WordPress site. She built it herself. She did a great job but we wanted to use the Facebook app. So I installed the app on a subdomain of my website and installed the small business theme and I only use the Facebook portion. The rest of it doesn't display because it's not associated with her main URL. So to do this you come into Bluehost and I use Bluehost. Um, I'm sure this would work with your other hosting provider but Bluehost is really terrific and, and compatible with WordPress which is why I suggest it. So to begin, you scroll down into your cPanel under subdomains. And I'm going to make a subdomain of Facebook. You can see I have a whole bunch of practices in here. Facebook Small Biz Demo. And I'm going to create it. which just takes a second. You can see it's scrolling along right here. Okay, I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you all these domains in here. You can tell I am busy. It's right here. Facebook Small Biz Demo. Now, the next part, we're going to come to our cPanel and just like you do for all of your small business themed websites or any of the websites that you make, we need to install WordPress. So I'm going to scroll down through this massive list here. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I'm going to install. And it's going to ask me where I want to install it. Okay, I don't want to stall, install it over eileenlonergan.com because that will rewrite the files that I already have, which would be a big disappointment. However, if I install it here on my Facebook YouTube demo, dot Eileen Lonergan, it is its own separate little entity. And this is my demo. I like to rename all my advanced options because I have a short-term memory and I forget everything. So I'm going to pause this while I put in my password. Okay. So. It was in progress, and then I'm getting this note saying it's warning, please confirm that it's going to overwrite the files. Now, the first time I saw this, I almost had a heart attack, and I got on the phone with Bluehost, who are great. They are available 24-7. And I said, why is it overwriting what is there? There's nothing there. I'm just getting started. And their response was that they install some stuff um, on the back end that you know we don't see or know about and I do not have to worry about anything I'm not getting rid of anything um, that I need in the future so go ahead with confidence as long as you're in your subdomain and click overwrite and it's installing there you go okay now I'm going to log into the back end. I'm just going to pause for a second while I do that. Okay, I'm going slow on time here. I'm taking a long time. So you go to install themes on your themes. I'm going to upload it. and I'm going to find it on my hard drive. I'll come right back. Okay, so I found it on my hard drive and I uploaded it. And now I'm going to activate it. And the one thing that I want you to remember is that when you're building your pages, to use, let's do a sample page, edit, use the Facebook template. 